Good evening and welcome to another episode of Youth Perspective. We all sincerely enjoy your money. Today's episode is an episode that you should not even miss, trust me, because the topic is one that every youth should pay attention to, and it is finance management yes we're going to learn how to actually manage our finance ways that we can actually do it and challenges that we actually do face as young adults right now we're going to ask you to make we hear from you 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 and you so no go anywhere because this is youth perspective to manage finance at uh, this particular situation of our country now, I think one has to be wise and you know know what you are doing. For me, I always try to stay focused in everything I do. Stay focused. You know, have plans. Know what you are doing. Then your budget, put plans on it. Know what you are doing. Let's put know your budget. Manage your finance like. I know how to manage it in the sense that I make sure I stay focused. If I have like 50,000 in my account, for instance, I know how to put plans on the 50,000 there so that I will not run into debt. Because the situation of this country is not friendly at all. And to manage things this particular moment, especially for especially for we guys, you have to know what you are doing. Because before you know it, the ladies out there will collect money from our hands. So I just make sure I stay focused and stick to my plan so that I'll be good. Okay, now that we've heard from your beautiful and amazing audience, it is time to hear from our guest who is with me here in the studio. And of course, as usual, I have beautiful people, no more, no more. You cannot deny the fact that every guest I bring here are very beautiful or handsome. And yes, today I have none other than the one and only Jola De Ojo. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for having me. Definitely. Thank you for coming. You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I am. I'm good. I'm you good. look good. Yeah, thank you very much. You look better. Stop. I'm <laughs> much, ah, better. I, care. Ah, I don't compare to a black body, of course. <laughs> okay. And um, earlier on, I actually said our topic for today is finance management. So we're going to look into that. Why should we manage our finance? How can we manage our finance? So first of all, our very first question here for you is, how would you define finance management? Um, finance management, often referred to as financial management, you know, involves planning, organizing. You basically, one basically controlling their um, financial activities, you mm -hmm. know, as youngins, as individuals, as young individuals, I mean, mm -hmm. you have to essentially, you know, put effort in making your finances stable and there are steps, you know, that to you, have to, you, have, you have to take to get to that level so to yeah. get to that level mm. well basically i think the sorry to say this generation our generation <laughs> yeah we don't really understand um, the literacy that mm. one should actually have mm. to mm. manage finance yeah yeah because basically um there are so many challenges yes that we can actually face to actually manage finance it's, it's it looks like a very big task yeah because, you know, okay first the country we are in is like a big factor in itself. Mm. Like managing your finances as a youth in Nigeria mm. this time is <laughs> is not an easy thing at all. Do you get the mm. country itself is not um, helping. Actually, it's not helping. It's not going easy on you or your finances. So like, how do you like manage? It? There are a lot of challenges that you know comes your way in aspect of managing your finances and all that. It's not that it's not very easy to. But do let's that. leave the country aside. Now. Okay. As a person. As a person. Yes, as a person. How can one actually learn to actually manage their finance? Earlier on, you mentioned budgeting and saving yeah, two yeah. years. How can actually how can we now really be determined to say let's save, let's budget? First of all, I think before you say you want to like be determined to save or budget, you have to like address the challenges that are not allowing you, you know, mm -hmm. get to that particular stage of you saying okay, you want to save or something. You have to address the challenges mm. that sort of like barrier to you saving mm -hmm. or st st stepping up in your financial management or mm. something like that and what are the challenges we're talking earlier you sort of the uh, impulsive <laughs> buying you like to shop mm -hmm. you know you are just you are you are you are youth like yeah of course you, you get you have so many things that you want to do mm -hmm. but first thing i'll say is that do you, we have like lack of financial education mm. most people don't know how to 
spend their money like say you said okay. budget most mm. people, most people don't know how to spend their money properly they don't have the the um Discipline. basics mm -hmm. such as you know setting a goal like okay this is what i want to do mm -hmm. so let me set this money aside yeah and most times using my step as an example okay i'll say okay i want to set aside you know this, this money, money for this for particular this, thing yeah. okay it's not it might not even be a long-term thing mm -hmm. but let me just say okay i want to set this money aside for maybe the ending of the month or like month. two weeks i want to buy something but before that two weeks will come the money is gone the money is gone and i'm just okay. left wondering like what did what i do with this money? money i promised myself i wasn't going to touch this money hmm. but you know i think, because I think of, you have to have a certain amount of discipline yeah, yes to actually know okay why well, isn't this money for this exactly let me not touch this money you have to be determined because like you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier impulsive buying is yeah. a very very big factor because mm -hmm online now uh, we're very technological wise yeah so anything that's seen online the next is i'm buying this i'm mm. buying that i'm buying yeah, that yeah. and cravings too myself as an example <laughs> <laughs> oh god let me not start talking okay, yeah. here but i said um last week i work here i was sitting down i wasn't doing anything much i was just doing my research or other things and then i was like you know what i want parfait mm. from no yeah you didn't buy shower massive <laughs> it's not as if i'm not eating that money no yeah I, I get i get you i really and do. suddenly i left work i stepped out i went to buy the parfait i came back i ate i was <laughs> watching a movie and i ate it i yeah. spent almost three thousand let's mm. say three five including the transportation here mm. and there mm. yeah and at the end of the day i was like you know what i want to make dinner i want to do something i was like ah what did i really spend that money for today and i realized okay perfect mm. and if i should continue like that let's say every day every day okay today i want pizza and chocolate yes. i want chocolate on my pizza or i want this i want that how would i now start saving if i'm always um how will i say this in how will i say this word now if i'm always Buying giving in from oh, exactly from always giving in to every craving everything i see whatever i see oh i want to buy whatever i feel like mm. eating i want to buy that way i will not be able to save right yeah so like you mentioned actually i think this when we have that certain level of discipline yes that determination that, that determination like, i'm setting this money aside i'm not going to touch it mm. and you're really not going to touch it actually i think uh, that's the first step mm -hmm. you have to take it before you not even say okay you want to set a goal yeah you want to okay taking myself for an example again okay. <laughs> i'm a youth copper right okay. and before, well, before coming to before doing the nyc i already said okay you at the end of each month, yes, I'll try yeah. to be saving like, let's say, thank, thank you for my allowance. allowance. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to tell you that I haven't done that. And you're almost <laughs> it done it. It has been but I'm almost done with my NYC. Mm. Because to some extent, I didn't have that level of determination. Mm. And apart from not having that level of determination, like I said, hell yeah. Yeah, I had things to do. Transportation, feeding. Of course. It was not easy. I told my mom, I said, mommy, I'm, let me just save my life at the end of the day. Actually, saving my life is one part that. Like, like that I saw earlier on in, on the street of Italy and said, um, now my series now go save me. Mm. Because ah, when I'm going to keep the savings for. I swear. But regardless, it's, yeah. it's actually very, very important to save ahead of time. To of save course. for the future. Of course. Because we don't want to always stay. We don't want to remain in our parents' house forever. We no. want to start no something. One, no right? one wants to be a liability. Exactly. No, one, no one wants to be stagnant. We all want to like move exactly. forward. Exactly. It's not a crime if at a young age you start building your own house it's not a crime actually if you say you're your only company but it's not with yeah? my 33k then <laughs> to build out this own companies <laughs> of like, course of course but regardless yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in ways that yeah. you know okay especially if you're making money especially if you're actually earning you're yeah. doing something good you're working at this stage yeah. you're actually earning it is important that we actually save yeah here and it's there safe. And I think it's, there are some banks right now that you can actually save in. Let's say you put a time frame of 30 days. That, ah, I will not touch this money. Or even like three months. Yeah, Or like months. six months. Like you set a time and this, like, this is when I'll be able to unlock this money. Mm. This is when that one will actually help. Actually. You know? So how can we actually now, uh, we've mentioned determination. Is there any other way that we can actually learn or actually use in saving our money, in budgeting? Because um, life is a long time. People say life is short, but the yeah, life we're yeah, living yeah. right now is still quite long. It's very it's quite very long. long, very long run. So we just can stop everything now and just mm. say, let's just be eating daily without thinking about the future. Yeah, so yeah. apart from determination, is there really any other way? Mm, once you are determined there, you cannot. You can actually prep yourself and say, oh, I want to be determined. I want mm. to be like this. I want to be like that. But I, I still think that. Especially for people like us that like to do impulsive buying. <laughs> I <laughs> believe <laughs> I believe like financial education is one thing like you need to look into, mm. you know. Integrating financial literacy programs, like yeah. you can 
but there are so many things you can do online you get yeah. you can just look up steps to you know help you build that mm. help you grow that your determination yeah. you know by getting financially educated how you can save your money how you can save your money you get how to even invest in how it. to invest in your how to invest your money in things that you know that you get a return on investment mm -hmm. in double fold yeah. do you understand yeah. and some people other people have it's not as if they don't know how to save okay but probably they are maybe they're in debt or you get hmm. they have a lot of things they want they are using their money to okay take for instance now the government has introduced this um grant this loan fund scheme for yeah. investors and you are sure to pay that back hmm. do you know they mm -hmm. will pay back actually at the end of maybe when they finish their okay. university days yeah, or something you can pay back so those people now they will have to find ways to want to pay the, the money back mm -hmm. So they can start by maybe doing a business. Hmm. There are a lot of students that are in school that they are doing you know, something. Apart from studying, yeah. they are integrating into ad and works, yeah. trying to Earn. find things that they can do. So if you have something that you are doing, because hmm. let me know, let me know why, let me know the CV. If you don't have anything that you are doing, of there's course. no way you can save. Actually, even though there are people that are not working but they have money, that doesn't mean huh. they are saving. Oh my, they are plenty. That doesn't mean they are saving. But we have is, if they're not getting ha wait they're not working mm. yeah let's be plain they're not working yeah. mm. <laughs> mm. but they are spending yeah so i don't know but as you are spending shall be saving even if you're not working i don't know how that scenario shall work you, so you're not working and you're there's actually there's earning an actually. that if you don't work like mm -hmm. you will know the value of money so when you are saying people that they they are they are not working but they have money let's use example they get for, it through um, maybe it's, it's generational wealth for mm. example now they don't really work they don't know how the money is coming when yeah. they are shadow spending that's actually a very big disadvantage because okay it's parents money it's family wealth mm. it has flown down to me at the yeah. same time you should actually learn to manage that finance because you're not working but you are spending how would you you're not thinking about like the how future would you, are you, you're not thinking about how to generate more income because and if true. that money was not there you wouldn't have anything to spend true, in the first place true what if it runs dry one day mm. money is well, not like it, a well it still boils down to having that financial education true. how to save up and you know economic adaptability mm. i said something about nigeria not being easy so but there are people in this economy that are still working and Trust still me. saving do you get yes so i think a, an individual you can start by building a diverse skill to help you adapt hmm. to the economy situations. like okay you already know that okay you earn like let's say 50k in a month yeah right and you have to okay <laughs> okay you have to you have to set aside money for transportation feeding and also maybe let's say at the end of the day you are left with 20k Hmm. that you can just i'm just saying you know, for example I know, like Victoria, that's not possible actually but hmm. i'm just saying <laughs> see i'm not saying so, <laughs> say 50K, but so okay. that's 20k you just okay you know that okay maybe you can set aside the money yeah but due to impulsive buying online shopping you want to buy this one you want to buy that hmm. one you end up spending that money you can just try to like how should i put it try to work it out try to set your mind to okay well, i'm not going to touch this money yeah. i'm going to adapt but like once if i don't eat that parfait i'm not going to die I if i don't buy that shower i'm like I'm joy i'm not going to die so <laughs> why are you talking about it like that talk to me directly don't go through the so just you know i try to adapt to the situation like, to the situation on ground mm. try to adapt what other thing can i say and then we were talking earlier i don't know yeah. but we said prep pressure Mm. try not to feel pressured i mean we all like we all know that okay we have to you have to live within your means true just because you see a wearing just because i see you wearing oh bone straight and driving one because you know you don't mm. want to like live above your means mm. and even though if okay, even though you are capable of buying that thing but you know that after you buy it like you'll be affected true your porous you won't even have anything imagine boring to, to actually keep up looks are there people that act like you actually not be in debt so I think what you said earlier, saying them their online courses. Yeah, that you can take. Yeah, actually, and actually go through that course, learn it, and you would even learn how to manage your debt. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I think that's very. I'm going to do that. Yeah, going Maybe to. next week I'll give you guys an update because I really. You have to, guys to ask her. Yes. <laughs> Please, did you actually do that? But actually, I feel I really would. not even feel. I would. I would. Yeah. That's good. That's After good. this, I'm definitely going to register for a financial course to really learn how to, to manage. manage your money because if I to help you with your impulsive buying impulsive shopping i won't lie <laughs> even, even 
the shoes I'm, I'm wearing right now. Yeah. Okay? I was just passing by you. And you saw it. And I was like, mm, this shoe I like fine. that. <laughs> and I bought it. Though it served me a very good purpose. Yeah. But at the same time, my purse hurts, you know. I, my purse actually, now you use PG, my purse feel numb. You feel numb. English could not Something do justice to that. <laughs> <laughs> my purse feel numb. Mm -hmm. She understand me. But that, so, in, that, in that case, mm -hmm. you, you actually wanted it. Not because, yes, not because, not because somebody was wearing it. Mm. And you feel like, oh, this person is wearing it. I have to buy it. So mm. when in actual sense, your purse is going to be hurt. Like mm. later, you're going to feel it. Like, how oh, I shouldn't have done this yeah. thing. So I think... Pepper pressure is one of like the challenges. One of the challenges. But you can also cope it by being content True. with what when you're you have. Content and satisfied. I don't think anybody can pressure into spending anyhow. Being any contented and satisfaction will take you to great places. True. It will help you hmm. move forward. Like it will help you. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Proceed. Proceed. <laughs> like you won't spend that money you're not supposed to spend. Yeah. Do you get? Yeah, we get you. So that's just that's it. That's just it, right? Yeah, Thank you very much. I think it's a very, very beautiful episode. And I hope you've learned something because trust me, I've learned to so one ready start for a financial course Take that and course. learn. <laughs> And learn how to manage your finances. And stop! Don't do impulsive buying like please cheaters. Okay? Oh God, if you don't start you, not, you will be very fine. It's Trust okay. me. She has said it so. <laughs> All right, then bye, guys. So I right. have something for you, of course, in Inside Scoop. Yes. Yeah? So stay okay. tuned and enjoy the rest of the episode. Bye. And that is all on today's episode of Youth Perspective. Of course, we dive into the world of finance management. We heard from you, our amazing audience, and got inspired by our guests, yes, who actually gave a lot of insight on how we can actually save budgets and actually learn to finance or rather manage our finance, yes. Until next episode of Youth Perspective, I remain yours sincerely. 
Joy Okmani. Remember, your perspective is valuable and your voice matters. Good evening.